Hi pals, coming up on this week's episode of Go With The Heat, Tubbs pulls a Crockett and falls for a serial killer in the episode titled Little Miss Dangerous. On this week in Vice, we'll be covering when this episode of Miami Vice aired from January 27th to February 2nd, 1986, when Miami Vice was king. In news, on January 28th, 73 seconds after takeoff at 1139 Eastern Standard Time, the Space Shuttle Challenger broke apart, killing all seven crew members. The shuttle launch and disaster was watched live by millions of Americans due in part to the presence of Krista McAuliffe, who would have been the first teacher in space. Many schools watched the launch in their classrooms, cheering on McAuliffe. The cause of the accident would eventually be blamed on a failed O-ring seal to the solid rocket booster, setting off a chain reaction and a total structural failure. The Challenger disaster is still one of the most memorable moments in many people's lives, and its legacy has outlived the space shuttle program. In music, What Friends Are For is still number one on the Hot 100. This week gives me a chance to bring back up Rocky IV and the exceptional James Brown. Reaching number four on the Hot 100 and remaining in the Billboard Top 40 for 11 weeks is Living in America by the soul master himself, James Brown. The song is used in Rocky IV for Apollo Creed's entrance before the unforgettable fight with Ivan. The song would win a Grammy Award and would be the last top 40 hit from the legend. In movies, finally reaching the top spot is The Color Purple. Based on the Pulitzer Prize winning novel, the film is about the problems African American women faced in the early 20th century. Directed by Steven Spielberg, The Color Purple also introduced Oprah and Whoopi Goldberg in their film debut. The film was nominated for 11 Oscars, but in a shameful twist, did not win any Academy Awards. This is an amazing film from a fantastic cast and needs to be appreciated as one of the best films in history. And that's everything you need to know that was happening when Miami Vice was king. Be sure to join us on Go With The Heat at GoWithTheHeat.com. I'd love to hear from you. Email the show, GoWithTheHeat at gmail.com or follow me on Twitter at Dom Corvo. That's all for this week. Bye, pals.